What's up you guys? Welcome to my channel. My name is Eva and in today's video I'm going to be talking about how I lost 50 pounds and Instagram I've been posting my weight loss pictures and a lot of you guys have been asking me how I did it so I decided to make this video to inspire many 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 of you guys. So if you want to see how I lost 50 pounds just keep on watching. Okay, so a little background history. During my teenage years, I never struggled with my weight. Everything started in 2014 when I moved in with my boyfriend. So when I moved in with him, I was weighing at 145 and I was pretty comfortable with that weight. So when I moved in with him, I did not know how to cook at all. And I legit, you guys, mean at all. I know, shame on me. So the easiest thing for me to do was to just buy junk food. So we would eat McDonald's, tacos, Taco Bell, Burger King every single day, Monday through Friday, just because I did not know how to cook. So we did this for many years and I never really bothered on trying to learn how to cook. I just kept on buying junk food and we would just eat that. I started noticing that I was starting to gain weight so I did research on how to lose weight and I remember that the first thing that came up was Herbalife and I was like I'm gonna try this because there were so many pictures of people that were actually seeing results so I was committed I was like this is for me I'm going to do it so I went out I bought Herbalife and I did not like it at all I did not like their shakes I just did not like the taste of them so it was hard for me to wake up or go through the day and having to drink these shakes i just hated the taste of them and then i also remember doing some research about herbalife and i came across many bad reviews so when i saw that i was like definitely not i cannot do this not do this i do not want to harm my body more I was also trying a bunch of diets and quick fixes. I tried going vegan, I tried teas, I tried pills, I tried keto, I tried many, many things you guys and nothing really worked. So every weekend I would go out and buy healthy groceries and supposedly I was supposed to start on Monday and I would never start. I would probably start in the morning and then I would crave something and then I would quit right away. Years passed and I was still eating the same. I was not making healthy choices. I was not even exercising. And I started noticing that the way I was starting to gain more and more weight, but I never really did much to make a change. Other than saying that I was gonna try these diets and I would never do it. So then 2018 came around. I remember it was during March and one of those times that I told my boyfriend, okay, this uh, next week uh, we're gonna go on a diet and we're gonna do this and we need to eat this certain food. So we would go out on the weekend and buy these healthy groceries and bless my boyfriend's heart because he always supports me and he's always willing to do anything I'm down to. So we went out on the weekend and we went out and bought all these groceries and then Monday came around and we didn't do it. So then I remember one of those times he told me that he was just going to give up. We were just going to stop trying to buy healthy groceries because either way we were not eating them. They were just going bad. So when he told me this, I felt like so bad. I was like, I need to make a change. I'm going to do it. So I knew I wanted to make a change. So I told myself that same day, I was like, you're going to do this. You're going to stop making so many excuses. You're not going to do any specific diet. You're just going to start and go from there. I remember feeling very overwhelmed and nervous and scared. I felt everything because I did not know where to start or what to do. So I remember just being like, you know what, fuck it. Like we're just gonna start slow and we're gonna go from there and see what kind of results we see. Well, the first thing I did before I even like thought of what kind of food we were gonna eat I remember weighing myself and taking a picture. So I'll go ahead and show you guys that picture. When I took this picture, I just couldn't believe that I had let myself get to this point. 
I started weighing at 145 and I went all the way to being 185 you guys like that was a lot of weight so I hated that I remember being like oh my god I'm already 185 like I'm close to being 200 pounds like I'm not even 25 and I'm almost 200 pounds I was like this is horrible okay so when I started I literally started super slow you guys I did not remove sweets from my diet in one day at all I what my biggest thing was that I was used to eating hot Cheetos every single day Monday through Friday and I knew that if I stopped eating hot Cheetos in one day I wasn't going to be successful and I was going to quit again so I was like I'm not gonna stop eating hot Cheetos every day I'm just going to limit it so instead of having it every day I was like I'm for my first week I'm just gonna have it three times and instead of having the whole bag by myself I'm just going to have half of it and the rest I'll give it to my boyfriend so that's what I did the first week I only had hot Cheetos three times and then the next week I was like instead of having it three times I'm just going to have it twice this week and then the next week I had them one time a week I was also starting to cook at home and I was starting to get into that routine of eating healthy for breakfast eating healthy for lunch and dinner and here and there I would have a small portion of hot Cheetos I did that for a couple of weeks of just having hot Cheetos one time a week and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna change it up. I wanna make this into a cheat meal. So I would eat healthy Monday through Friday, and then Saturdays I would have a cheat meal. So Saturdays I would eat healthy for breakfast, for lunch, and for dinner I would go out and have whatever I was craving. And then on Sundays I would go back on track. Till this day I still do the same thing. I eat healthy Monday through Friday, and then Saturdays I'll have a cheat meal. And I've seen a lot of results with that. Uh, I feel like my biggest thing was hot Cheetos, but maybe with you it can be different. Maybe your biggest thing is eating ice cream or soda, but you can do the same technique. So now moving on to what I used to eat. Um, and by the way, you guys, I still eat the same things. I haven't changed anything. Um, so for breakfast, I'll have just egg whites and ham. And then for lunch and dinner, it will usually be chicken, uh, fish, or ground turkey. And then I'll try to combine it with rice and veggies. There is times where I want something different. So I'll do like a caldo or um, cocktail de camarón or carne asada, stuff like that. I'll just obviously eat smaller portions. I have two snacks per day. So what I usually have is granola bars, yogurts, or fruit. So I usually have breakfast and then I'll have a snack and then I'll have lunch and then I'll have a snack and then dinner. And then if I still feel hungry after dinner, I will have a snack. I will not go to sleep or I will not go throughout my day feeling hungry at all. If I feel hungry, I will eat. I almost forgot telling you guys about exercise. So the first three months, I did not do any type of exercise. I literally told myself that I was just going to focus on eating healthy for three months. And then after the three months, I started going on walks and after that I went to the park and I would run two to three laps every day Monday through Friday and then on the weekends I would just rest I did that for a very long time of just going to the park and going for runs until now that I just got into the routine of going into the gym and lifting weights okay so now for the fun part I will show you guys my after picture I lost a total of 50 pounds. I am now weighing at 135 and I cannot believe it you guys. I literally did it. It took me time. It took me a lot, a lot of me to do this, but I did it and I'm just so much happier and proud of myself that I did it. Most important tip is to just take it slow. Like it is so important you guys to just take it slow. Do not try to go super strict and remove everything from your diet. Like. Most likely you're going to crave these things all over again and you're probably going to quit like me. So don't start strict, just take it day by day and slowly and you will get there. Also you guys, try to drink a lot of water. I try to drink at least half a gallon every single day. And by the way, I have my baby here by my side at all times. She goes with me everywhere. She's the real boo. 
So this is half a gallon and I drink one of these every single day. There is times where you're going to think that you are still hungry and in reality you're just thirsty so make sure to drink a lot of water first and if you still feel hungry then go out and eat but always drink water first. You have to prepare yourself mentally and be 100% committed so you need to tell yourself I'm going to do this, I'm going to make a change and you're legit going to do it but you have to have that type of mentality. So there's a saying that I really love. Um, let me actually look for it. It says, you got to train your mind to be stronger than your emotions or else you'll lose yourself every time. So that is so true, you guys. You need to train your brain and tell that bitch who is the boss. So that wraps up today's video, you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And more than anything, I really hope this video inspired you. I'm thinking of doing a Q&A in my next video. Maybe like a Q&A, get to know me, or like a fitness Q&A if you guys still have more questions. For sure, let me know down below what you want to see. And don't forget to follow me on my social media. I will make sure to leave that link down below. So in case if I do the Q&A, you can send me your questions. So if you stayed and watched the entire video, you are the real MVP. I just really hope everything made sense, you guys. If you really like this video, please give it a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.